That's right. Those that come across Let's do this goddamn dance lift quest. So it is where many things come. But why are you talking over me, Zongo? We're about to blow through dance lift. What? Which is the interlude chapter. What the hell is this thing called? So we're talking to Master. Let's see. Master at Port Omas is currently wearing himself sick around a letter. A letter that is unaddressed. I have to close my goddamn door there. Bam, bam, bam. We're using the classic team. Even though I have the Dendro team, I have them built. They're ready, but uh, I'm not operating them for these shiny kind of missions. Voice acting, please, for the love of God. Huh? Thank Christ. Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? <laughs> That's me. Who's asking? Do you need something from us? Screeching. You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another Outlander. He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get mail to us unless we happen to go to the post office on a whim. When the hell do we do that? Uh, he just wrote, <clears throat> next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. What? So the address is Paimon? <laughs> Location? Uh, Paimon. Exactly, right? And if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. All right, well, um, ain't no way he knew this was going to happen, so give me the letter. Of course, here it is. All yours. Who could have wrote a letter like this? It's been a while. How have you been? I've heard that the two of you are traveling in Sumeru. I happen to be in Port Ormos on official business. Lately, I've been stopping by. I don't know how to say that fucking. Jafar. Jafar Tavern. For a drink or two every afternoon. If luck's on my side. Oh, it's Kaya. If luck's on my side, this letter successfully reaches you. Come to me then, and we can catch up at all times. We'll see this faded again. Kaya, huh? So he's here in Sumeru. Right, Kaya had a, a new head again, a loophole Kaya through. About it, Crafty does describe him pretty well. This is definitely Kaya's style, but he was able to bypass a loophole and send it to the weirdest address ever. From what he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. Hmm. Or he guaranteed. He's just being sneaky. <sighs> Making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? Yeah, Kaya's fucking left eye is able to see into the future, bro, so he was able to predict where we'd be. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see old friends. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every Okay, so the D is silent. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? Yep. Well, we get Kaya and Sumer. Chapter 3, Act 6. Wine scented letter. Huh? Oh, following afternoon, huh? You got it. What at 16? Okay, well, I'm glad I landed so fucking close to this time right away. I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. <laughs> Very nice. Huh? Well then, just the bill, please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Hey, Paimon. Why is Traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now. I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> if you say if you say so, bro. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? 
Hát az nem az az <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Maybe he's on Don, uh, Don Winery official business, but yeah, try the alcohol. Also, you terrified? I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. Though. The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. Exactly. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Sumeru spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. And how did that go? That knight sent you for this? That kind of is that a so mission they do? So so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. A great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D Luke are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not depends on how nice I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> hey, using your job to settle personal grievances isn't very knightly, Captain. How do you know it's not knightly? What do you know about being a knight, Violet? Oh. What makes you say that? Okay, the Sumeru all on your own. It's actually quite familiar with the place. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Yep. Hmm. And? Do continue. There's a sea. There's a port at least in a black sea. Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Oh, please do, so the traveler can go into their past too, bro. One for one. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. <laughs> Seems a mass, mass destroyed desert. Could be somewhere around there, too. And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo, and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. I don't know how many people players shit themselves when they heard him say he's from Ghana, bro. Because it's pretty public info, but I was like, I thought this was some, some big secret. No, bro. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Yeah, speak about Conria, bro. You're from there, right? No, you're at least descended from the people from there. How much you know about it? Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. A happy life sounds good to me, of course, even if it means being cut off from certain things. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. Not known on These days, huh? my surname, Albrich, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Hey, they get to meet each other. That's what I like to see. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Alberich? Dainsmith? Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken. So you remember me. Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Alberich, descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Huh? Bro, his father was the founder of the Abyss Order? 
Okay, now that's a lower bomb. Holy shit. What? You ate? I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> so what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. Not. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. I think, I guess. Yeah, I mean, sure, bro. I mean, you might not be bound emotionally or care that much about it. it doesn't mean your bloodline can't literally be controlled. We don't know what these Colombian mages can do. But uh, I think, I guess, but I'm not going to get him. I don't trust him. We have no idea what he's capable of. Even his vision is different. Either way, looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. Uh, well, all right then. You go do your thing, Kaya. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. Interesting. So Kaya's eyes, Kaya isn't a pure blood <laughs> continent. You don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. Oh, my sibling was the founder. Well, your sibling wasn't the founder. She's just a current queen? Princess? Well, I suspect that they call your sister their princess precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if she was the founder, she'd be the queen, right? Yeah, looks like I just said. Yeah, exactly. I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Hey, well, that's the last yeah, thing on our list. The Abyss evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. We got a new lead after we left that giant statue there and didn't destroy it? Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your sister. She mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. This shit would have been around for centuries, huh? Apparently so. I know. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that she mentioned back then? Correct. Where's that one's nose? At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in a Vidya forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! We'll scar no. cover. Now is not the time. You waiting for the perfect moment? No, it's just... I'm still waiting for my drink. Brother, Seriously? what? Huh? <laughs> I'm still waiting for my drink. These people like things like that. Ah, it's a funny joke, right? Like he's waiting for his drink. But sometimes I wonder if how the if the world works on cycles. If he remembers when he was with the sister, and he was here, he got the drink, and he's trying to like put things the exact way they were, cycle wise. 
So stuff like that, where he's like, if you remember, it's how to rerun the cycle. Fuck it, bro. I had a drink last time. I gotta keep it the same. That's a food for thought. Take it easy. On my part, speculation. Like, cause stuff like that seems insignificant when you start piecing large amounts of it together. Wait. This place, it's familiar. What about it? It looks pretty normal to Paimon. Was it like this hundreds of years ago, too? No way in hell, Paimon. Yes. What? The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here, after all. A hundred years? Let's search the area and see what we can find. Very little? I'm literally looking at a goddamn farm in front of me, bro. Is this a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Or, wait, maybe nothing ever was grown here. Could be a ploy. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Wait, we're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? What? We've done this plenty of times. Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. Yeah, should and can't. Not two different you right think so, well, uh, you lead the way then, Dane. <laughs> All right. This forest it doesn't look lived in. A well-traveled path that isn't overgrown, boxes, and lights that are still on. What part of this looks? Not lived there. Huh. Well, there really isn't anyone home. <laughs> Ugh. This place is so dusty. Dusty crusty must be. that no one's lived here in years. Investigate carefully. We mustn't miss a single detail. Well, what's so important about this place? This bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it either. What would there be? What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. Bro, what's wrong with their house, Pama? Yeah, Pama, I hate it. There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Pama means you. Yeah, thanks. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. Well, you are sure go you really are fucking going buzzing your paranoia. What? You, what's, what's wrong with you? She's uh, bugging out. This is a mirror. Damn. But it's broken too. Was this a makeup box? It's a regular mirror. It's broken. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah. Grandma was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Especially after Dane talked this place up. Then use your Conry and I to blow a hole or whatever this mirror is. Border and pestle. Hey, look! It's a bowl! Guess whoever used to live here liked to cook, huh? Yeah, bro. A bowl means like to cook. It. Jesus Christ. There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. Only reason to have a bowl. Oh, so it's a medicine bowl? What kind of border and pestle, you ape? Mm. Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. Or he's walking through the motions of something he's already done in the past. Doesn't look like there's anything else worth their attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? No. Oh, lift up the rug, bro. That's why I usually hide my stuff in Minecraft. My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. Noises? Is it? It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. Brother, what? Oh, it's just monsters. Swans. Wow, Dave's ears are sharp, just like his nose. It's a perfectly good shape for a five hundred year old. Although for someone who's as full of surprises as Dave, it's hardly a big deal. Anyway, let's clean up these monsters. 
Also, surprise me for 500 euro, but our character is 500. Come down there. I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. Like A what? A line anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. Bro, well, monsters okay. wander all the time, brother. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. What? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. He's been doing that since day one. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. My eyes. And as such. Someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. No, it's not going to disappear. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. Uh, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Yeah, the forest rangers don't have ancient Conrian and abyssal powers like you do. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Is that so? We haven't done anything. We went from a dock to a house. <sighs> Whatever you say, Bob. <sighs> Your cooking is as good as ever. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. <laughs> you let it come more naturally to you, though. It's very easy to please, my love. Changing the subject, Dane's taking forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? Not very. <sighs> we came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know, now that Paima mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so, don't take this the wrong way or anything. But, uh, do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? Well, what kind of question is that? Well, not really, you're better than nothing, I guess. Bruh, you make the day every day, Paimon. I like Paimon, though. Paimon, oh, bro. she's the little companion that travels with you. Although, I wish we got either the Traveler or Paimon's backstory, considering, I don't know, they don't ask each other anything. <laughs> Don't take this wrong way. Do you ever think Paimon is tired of being around? How about, don't take this wrong way, but you never told me your backstory once. What are the other worlds that you've come from are like? Have you, you've seen other worlds, right? Have you ever been trapped in them before like this one? Like, bruh. Oh, you stop it. Now you're embarrassing Paimon. I'm not sure, Paimon. Ask the cute question instead of the real one. So, um, next question. Finally, oh know my god. I ask this, but Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your sister? Oh, my fucking low shook, bro. Yeah. Uh, stars? Gaze up at the stars just like this, brother. Give, I want some more answers. I want to know in the past, bro. I want to know what other planets you've been to. We traveled worlds, bro. What other worlds? We part of the planets we wanted to visit, bro. Little celestial beings. Fucking aliens. We traveled through the universe, always side by sides. We saw all this, no, saw all manner of hope and despair. Jesus, bro. This is the first time we've ever been separated. If nothing else, I wanted to know what happened. God damn, have they been traveling the universe for that long? Yeah, Paimon understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why, it's just terrible. But we'll find the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tavat. Okay, but what were you separated from? For you to understand. You were floating in the water and not a single person in the universe looks like you. What got you yeeted here? And you too, Tavat. Uh, you know what? We've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead. Because if you're sad... Paimon will be too. No worry, Paimon. Well, at least they're giving us more Paimon Traveler dynamic. Well, we get to see. I came up here like, can we get a Paimon appreciation thread? <laughs> Fuck off, bro. All right, all right. It's getting dark, so why don't you rest? Paimon will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. No, Paimon take first watch. Bro. Start screaming. 
Well, this is the first time I'm not gonna. What's going on here? We looked in this mirror and now Paimon's asking us all of these questions. Oh, come on! Don't say that! Paimon just wants to look after you for once. <laughs> nah, something's not right. Good night, Paimon. <laughs>